Hello everyone, I'm going to explain you how we construct uh, Bayesian networks from uh, probabilities. Just keep in mind, uh, we are not uh, going to learn how we construct a Bayesian network itself without probabilities. There is a separate uh, technique for that uh, which is called interpretive structure modeling. I will try to record its uh, lecture sometimes and it will give you more idea how we construct the Bayesian network uh, without probabilities and uh, using a scientific te scientific technique. So for today I'm going to explain you if you have the probabilities how you convert them into your Bayesian networks. Now these are four examples I took to elaborate uh, this. Before I go into them I just want to explain you something. So for example, I have a probability of A given that B and I'm looking to construct uh, its network. You just need to keep in mind one very simple uh, formula for these, which is the probability of a child given that, that's what we call it, uh, this slash in the BJ networks, parent. Now, what we are going to learn, how we develop the link, uh, either it should be from B to A or your link should be from A to B. If you keep this formula in your mind, child given that parents, the parents uh, can give birth to the child. However, the child cannot give birth to the parents. So this direction will be wrong. What I meant to say here, in this one, if I have two nodes, let's say I have A constructed, I have B constructed, which, are, which is the B node, and I want to decide either I should draw arrow from A to B or B to A. Just keep this in your mind that parents uh, can give birth to their child, child cannot give birth to their parents. So this direction is what we are going to consider from B to A. So that one, that's what is your Bayesian network uh, using the probabilities. So this direction, I will cancel this, eliminate this. So the only direction will be from parent to child node. Now let's uh, apply this uh, on these four case studies and then we will see how we work them out. So let me erase these. So let's start uh, with the first one which is uh, saying that there is no parent available. It's only single node which is called probability of x. So if I want to draw this it will be just a single node of p of x1. It could be any variable. It could be p of a, p of b, c. It does not matter. Now the point that you need to consider is in our first case study there is no parents associated with this. If there is no parent, just keep in mind there will be no network that we can establish because it is only the one node. So the network uh, will not form in this case and the answer for this for case 1 will be just a simple node which is x1. Now in case number 2, it is saying that there is one parent and we want to construct this or, or we want to convert this probability into a Bayesian network. So how we will do that, I have uh, possibilities of x2 and I have the possibilities of x3. Now let me write down that formula that I explained you earlier so that we can revise that all the time. So this is my child given that my parents. So as I mentioned and we know that the parents can give birth to child, child cannot give birth to parents. So the only direction will be from parent to child. Now in this uh, formula, I have x2 is my parent. So my direction should be from x2 to x3. So this one is how your Bayesian network for this uh, probability should look like. It will be from x2 to x3. Now let's, uh, let's work on case number 3 where we have two parents. It does not matter how many parents we have as long as you are uh, using this uh, formula, the procedure will remain the same. So let's work on this one. 
so you need to draw them first I have x1 I have uh, x2 and I have x3 now the morphology in Bayesian network is not like the human that uh, they could be only one or two parents it could be more than two parents that that's case study is coming in the next one here so this x2 remain my parent x3 remain my parent so the direction should be from x2 to x1 this will be one direction here and the second link should be from x3 to x1 and this is what is your Bayesian network just make sure you put your direction because Bayesian network are always directional networks now in our last uh, case study we have three parents and let me choose a different color okay let's take the red one here we know that uh, I have x1 x2 x3 x4 so let's say this is my x1 here and this is my x2 this is my x3 and let's say this is my x4 according to this formula I know that the direction should be from parent to the child so x2 is the parent of x1 x2 is the parent of x1 this is the direction x3 is also the parent of x1 so x3 to x1 and x4 is also the parent of x1 so this is the direction for this so that is how you develop or construct your Bayesian network from probabilities in the next uh, lecture I will explain you how we validate our Bayesian network if we have the probabilities given just one last time just keep in mind this formula that probabilities of child given that parents parents can give birth to the child only child cannot give birth to their parents and this is the direction that we need to consider when we are developing the links between the nodes i hope uh, it is clear uh, you can email me if you have any questions thank you